If I was sitting in a studio taking a boring portrait of something I knew exactly how to do, well, then what would be the point of creating it in the first place? You know, I've opted to create few projects, but every time I want them to be something unique. I want, I want them to be new experiences. You know, who else gets to say that they trekked across lava for 12 hours to take one photo? When the lava's in the ocean, I'm out there three to four times a week. On this shoot, it was going out looking for surface flows. It's not the first time that I've gone to this area. Knowing that we have equipment and stuff, that we're going to be carrying things, I, I expected that it was going to be however hard it was. But it, I mean, when you're doing it, like it's like a reality check. Like, oh yeah, you know it's hard, but yeah, no, it's hard. We had to walk four miles on lava to reach the, the surface flow. It can be slippery in certain places because the lava hardens and then it kind of becomes these little crystals and little glass. And if you do fall, it cuts you very fast. And in this unique scene that, uh, that Benjamin put together with the shaman, there were real animal furs on the shaman outfit. We were actually cooling the model down. And if they get too hot, they have to step out of scene immediately. Sometimes you see a shot there, it's not the person's been standing there for a half hour. They're able to step into the location for 10, maybe 15 seconds, and that's all Ben has time to actually get the shot. I had this idea of having the moon as a backdrop to shine and illuminate the whole thing, and I was like, I can drag the shutter, I can maybe do a little bit of HDR. No, there was no moon, I didn't even have anything to pull out, and that wasn't gonna work either. And then having to figure out the lighting to be placing the model in front, you know, I was lucky I had a brown color Cirrus, you know, cordless, powerful flash that I could send across. But even then, uh, the need to manually trigger speed lights in one hand, to sometimes even having to take off the, the trigger and manually triggering it with a longer shutter speed. So, you know, having to think about, well, how do we solve all of these problems and just trying our best to make the best of a really tough situation. The photos that we got last night, knowing where the team was, what everybody was doing, it's absolutely this humongous production of everybody together, which is incredible. Climate change is a big issue and I don't know what the solution is. The people that are in the most danger are tribal communities. These are the people that you know, rely on the environment and nature around them, and they're the ones that are gonna be hit the hardest. I'm just a photographer, so you know, what I know how to do is take pictures. The goal really is to get out there and, and create something that sparks a conversation and make sure that it stays up front and center in people's minds. Thank you guys for watching. One more thing before I let you guys go. All of these photos are up available for sale on lavaforchange.com. 100% of profits go to the victims of Hurricane Matthew. And guess what? I'm not the only photographer donating photos. So check it out. Buy a piece of amazing wall art and help make the world a better place. All right. Thanks, guys.